been holding it down over there for the, a couple years now. And Ultimate and Melee, so much love for all forms of Smash. But folks, that is on Sunday, and we hope to see you here for it. But right now, we've got Rivers and Syrup, a rematch of Winner's Semi-Final. Rivers looking for revenge. Syrup looking for a birth in Grants. One thing is clear, Nintunas. Winner goes on, loser gets out. How many people can you say have three stuck Rivers? Not many. In my most recent memory, yes, yes. In my most recent memory, the most recent one is uh, Syrup who did it in winner's semifinals earlier. I think this is the most likely player out of any player that we have seen in these past five, six weeks of Rivers winning DNA after DNA to have any chance at breaking the streaks too. This would not only be Syrup double eliminating Rivers if he wins this set, which is not something that many players can say that they've done. This will also be him finally breaking the DNA curse of Rivers winning just about every one of these things. There's a lot on the line in this set. Now Rivers has got a little more time for adaptation because this is best of five rather than the best of three like we saw before. And Syrup already out the Ooh. gate looking strong like he was in that first set. I think we got ourselves a set, dude. This one's going to be good. Hey, quick. But before that, uh, before that 2-0 to Syrup, who's the last person that Rivers lost to in a DNA bracket? Syrup? No. Oh. <laughs> it was actually Skiddo, but... Oh, you were... You I, th I thought you were talking about this bracket. No, this bracket. <laughs> before that loss to Syrup. As in the As in the aforementioned one. Oh, okay. my, this is Loser's Finals, Nintunis! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> my, my brain don't work too good. I don't know much. I, I, I Look, I figured as much. You're a Mario main. Anyway, um, yeah. it's, actually, is it you or the or the, or the Palu? I keep forgetting which one is... Uh, that, is that is my twin brother, Nintunish. Thank you. All right, it's it's easy to get too confused. Either way, mm -hmm. two stocks apiece. Dash attack coming through for Syrup, and again, yeah, the chain of PK fires and the directional air dodge is going to do Rivers no favors. We we're making a couple of Smash Four references. Might be missing Smash Four after that one. <laughs> I can think of a couple reasons not to miss that game, though. Anyway, <laughs> as can I. I'm just saying in this particular instance. Yes, yes, of course. It definitely brings me back to. Some simpler times, to say the least, too. And seeing this particular matchup week in, week out, at a lot of those monthlies, such as, uh, you know, the Forge Regionals and whatnot, uh, the Forge Monthly Regionals, whatnot, all the, like, some of the Philly events and what have you. See Rivers coming out to those with the Diddy Kong. But yeah, good times, man. Times that we will one day have once again. But for the meantime, we're going to see who's the king of the Wi-Fi realm right here between Syrup and Rivers. Rivers! Already doing better. Not getting three stocked in his first game. No JV3s either, so looking pretty good this time around. But that could, that Nair is going to get Nared in and out of itself on the part of Syrup, man. He's got the combo breakers on deck to deal with Diddy Kong combos, especially when those combos are not exactly true. Ness has got those combo breakers for a reason. You got to space yourself properly against the PK kid for that exact reason. Not oh. killing off the top, though, Stu. This is close. Yeah, and uh, maybe a little bit closer than Syrup would have liked. Would have loved to carry that momentum that they were uh, that they were experiencing against Rivers prior. But you gotta think. I mean, if you were watching uh, Rivers' stream, I can only imagine that they were trying to lab out something, or they figured out what they were doing. Because whatever it is that Rivers lacks as a smasher, intelligence really ain't it because they learn from their mistakes and they adapt so quickly. And indeed, you're going to catch that landing and scoop him up with the up smash. Catch these hands, says Diddy Kong. And indeed, it's going to be 1-0 to, uh, to the Jersey mainstay turn Florida, man. Looking pretty good right here in this first game. We'll take a look at these replays for you right and quick. That forward there. Starting Syrup out strong right here, but it wasn't enough for him in the long run, as we can see right here, taking that stock with the falling banana to the falling back air. And neutral reset here once again, wave landing back. Rivers talking on Twitter recently about how he feels not enough players utilize wave landing in this game. He thinks that you can actually do some pretty good stuff in terms of keeping opponents in disadvantage, plus in terms of positioning. But that's a bridge we're going to have to cross when we come to it. Meanwhile, we're going back to 1988. We got the Mario 2 music out here. The boss music, very repetitive. Low-key a little annoying in this context, I won't lie to you. Still a big fan of that game regardless. Game number two, Rivers versus Syrup. 
No, it's shout outs to Birdat. I'm a I'm a big fan of Birdat, and you know that is uh, that is their name. We, we um, respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we no, we yeah, you know, and definitely. Hey, if you want to do the impression, that's fine. But we respect people's choices. So let's uh, go ahead and keep on going with this. And the magnet again, flashing right in the face of uh, Rivers, blinded by the right by the uh, by the light. Can't believe. Yeah, no, I mean, hey, they were holding right, certainly, is probably why they got hit by it, but either way, <laughs> Rivers... said ripe. Ripe, yeah, it's fair like enough. Like a banana. <laughs> okay, uh, well, you, either you way, kinda... the pun worked. Yeah. I liked it. Makes yeah, sense. Well, yeah, but, makes uh, sense in that context. Yeah, thank you for trying to cover me, I do appreciate that, but, yeah, Syrup's got the options covered, certainly on the ledge. All you gotta do is stick out the yo-yo, that's your ledge game. Yeah, pretty much, especially against a recovery like Diddy Kong when he has to go to the ledge. Recovering high can give Syrup just enough time to be able to punish him, especially if he goes right back to the stage. So, Rivers, I mean, in terms of going to that ledge, he's just going to have to hang off by the stage, hang off off the level a little bit longer, charging that rocket barrel pack, forcing Ness to essentially pop it. But in this game, it's a little bit different. You know, being able to charge those uh, smash attacks for a lot longer than you were able to in prior editions, plus the fact that it goes below the stage in the terms of Ness's down smash walking the dog. Speaking of up smashes, that's going to do it for Syrup off the top there for his first stock. Rivers off the stage is just going to have to hang on a little bit longer, but he's played this character quite enough in terms of the great Gonzalez's former main, and now Dark Matter's former main as well. He now plays Pikachu. He, he, he's got the Ness experience, to, to say the least, but Syrup, definitely more than willing to take the... To, to more, definitely more than willing to take that buck of Ness being passed down from generation to generation, as they say. Yeah, I mean, who was passing down the Ness knowledge throughout the state of New Jersey? That's what I need to know, because that's, we need to go back to the source, cleanse, yes. this, uh, cleanse this state. But, no, we're... Uh, that could well be what Rivers is trying to do. Is Syrup's like, young man, you have been misled. I'm sorry to inform you, but oh, getting caught by those PK Thunders is such a cheeky little option, and it works so well. It gives you just enough knockback to give you advantage on stage, and Rivers not going to succumb to that dash attack. I mean, uh, that's just a good little awareness play, and now Syrup in a pretty dangerous position themselves. Ooh, but yeah, you whiff, and that is what happens, isn't it? I can probably count on one hand how many times I've seen Ness's forward tilt kill. Mm, yeah. No lie to you. Yeah, no, that I was not expecting it. I will full, I'll full throatedly admit that. Hey, neither was Rivers. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> neither was Rivers. So, <laughs> yeah. But I think we were all kind of expecting that uh, that method to kill, though. That's going to be another up smash and another stock taken. By Rivers, who again they have definitely learned and maintain a uh, a tenuous advantage, but it's becoming a little bit more significant by the second in Tunis. Definitely, especially with the way that Rivers is playing off the level. And he's, I don't know if you saw earlier. I mean, he secured a pathway back to the stage by B reversing the banana and catching it in the air out of disadvantage, just so he could throw it back from while just so he could throw it back at Syrup while being off of the level at the end of the day. It was a crazy notion, crazy sequence to see at the Ooh. very least, but now, banana back in hand, and now Syrup has got to be really careful if he winds up making it back to the stage right here, but Rivers deciding to risk it all right no. there! No! But you got it! No, the awareness in the heat of battle with the flames of combat raging, finding the way through and finding the aerial. And that is what it takes to go up 2-0. That little bit of awareness right in the moment. You have him at 130%. You're falling off. You're floating down into the hitbox. Rivers seeing that and reacting to it just in time. And Syrup, none too happy about that. But they have to be careful because that is exactly what Rivers thrived upon. Is that little bit of aggression. And if you get caught in a button... You're going to you're going to lose, and we're going right back to the same stage with the same song, and I can only imagine that's going to infuriate Syrup all the more. <laughs> yeah, definitely has got to definitely got to get like big Mario two boss energy, like summon the spirit of Wart right now and start eating these bananas instead of absorbing them for damage. My yeah. word, that that was something. I thought if anything, Rivers with the banana in hand 
was gonna prefer to stay on stage right there and just like just try to chuck it and get a forward smash confirm or something on syrup especially since it was last stock but he went for the angel drop almost died for it and then snuck in a back air somehow i there's no way he i don't know i, I, I want to say that he accounted for that situation but at the end of the day he probably didn't and just found a way to outplay syrup at the end of the day it's just Rivers, man, taking it on the fly. Round, round, get around! <laughs> he gets around, ladies and gentlemen. Rivers looking poised to 3-0 this man. Already back up 2-0 like he got 2-0 by Sierra back in winter semifinals. As if the adaptation on his part was not clear enough. Now he's looking poised to potentially take three games in a row. That is just how mark of a good player Rivers is, man. That's got to feel good to be good enough to adapt at that kind of level to get a run back against a player of Syrup's caliber and potentially beat him at such an extent. Stu, these are these are immaculate players we have the privilege of commentating before us. No, and that's the thing. It's the benefit of uh, the benefit of being in the right place at the right time. We get to see some quality competition in Syrup. Even though they're down by uh, two stocks to three in a decent position to take this one. But Rivers, again, mixing it up at the ledge. Eventually, it's going to be that back throw that takes the stock at 30% syrup in a very manageable position. But they still have to maintain and uh, take care because, again, it's that sort of uh, tilted nature that uh, Rivers will thrive upon. If you find yourself getting a little button happy, they will absolutely slice your head off with no remorse. I don't care if you're a kid, honestly. <laughs> That's him wow. saying that, not me. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you're right. There's the up throw to the up air. <laughs> Taking him out with the banana in hand on top of everything else. Rivers looking very poised in this game. Only 22% on his second stock. Going for the kill confirms even after hitting the down tilt on the shield. Potentially seeing if he could get a shield poke or something like that. Just wants to cover his bases. And knows that the risk there was not that high anyway since his percentage was basically so low. Might as well go for the kill confirm anyway in case it works out and I don't have to react in time. As I say that, though, Syrup turning the pressure on even more so with the banana in hand right Ooh. here. River's just waiting, though, with that up smash, too. Yeah, and another one for good measure. River's taking Syrup down to their tournament stock. And this ever-talented player who we have seen do so well. Fourth in the last Galaxy Gambit, taking down players like, uh, like, Galaxy, like uh, Cloudy and Johnny Legend. Oh, excuse me. I mean, this is a this is a quality nest, one of the better ones that online has to offer. And with Gayo waiting in the wings, you have to wonder if maybe they're just starting to prep for a Diddy at this point. Maybe, especially if they're watching this set, which you know that Gayo probably is, you know, because obviously he's going to have to play one of these two immaculate opponents right here. Wants to be prepared for both of them at the end of the day, depending on what happens. Might have to choose Rivers at the end of that, though. Question is, what character will he pick against him? We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Set's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a reverse 3-0 in the making if Syrup is able to begin taking this stock right now. Still not getting the loop yet in terms of percent. Hanging tight at 69.6%, .6%, I should say. Finally getting the lead, though, and now he's got him off the level exactly where Syrup wants him. I mean, it would hardly be the first time we've seen Rivers win this tournament out of losers, so always a threat to win it. Even if they're on their last stock of the last game, you just can never count them out. And, oh, there you go. It's going to be the grab that comes through and wins stage for Rivers, keeping Syrup at ledge, but those forward airs, so deadly. And now Syrup in a position to succeed, but the parry, they're not going to get the up smash this time, and it will instead be Syrup surviving. And in the middle of the stage, Rivers... So close to connecting with that up smash, but I mean, Ness, good luck trying to get a hold of him. Uh, it's a, when you do, that's a gift. That is not a given. Yeah, that's to say the least, man. Hanging on to that character is definitely an art, especially with especially with a nair out of disadvantage like a character like Ness has, man. It's a pretty easy thing to exploit. Not as easy to work around depending on how good of a player that you are. We'll take a look at these replays right here, man. Just underneath with a yo-yo. Kind of getting a good look at the logo right there. I don't know if it's the same one that it used to be in Melee, where I think it had, like... Might have had a Nintendo... Not a Nintendo logo on it, but it had, like, some sort of Nintendo font on it. I have no idea. Point is, Syrup tagging one on the board right here. Not getting 3-0'd on the part of Rivers right here. 
He's going to need two more if he wants to get that game run back against Gao. And you know that Syrup wants that run back against Gao with how that set went down with the pocket Sonic at the end of the day. He's going to have to get through Rivers first. And it would almost be cruel if the set were to end here, Nintunis. I got to say, because this is the sixth game that they played. Let's say that Rivers does get the victory here. That would make it three games that Rivers has won and uh, three that Syrup has won. But it's going to be Rivers that moves on in Grand Finals and Syrup finishing up in third place. Such is the nature of tournament play. I'm well aware of this. At the same time, you can really acknowledge that uh, you know, these players really are just that evenly matched. And Syrup is just this good at such a young age. Yeah. Some of, the, some of these new kids, man, I don't even want to think about it. I've been playing Slippy a lot, and there are new kids who are just getting absolutely broken in Melee, a game that is, has insane technical difficulty. So when it comes to Ultimate, a game that has, you know, let's be honest, a little bit less of a technical barrier, but still has some good tech to it at the end of the day, yeah. to see kids, like, still get this broken at the end of the day, it's just something else, man. It really makes me think about my old man reaction time. I used to be this kid, man. Crazy stuff to think about it. Time goes by. But yeah, Syrup, of course, very talented player despite the mm. age. I wasted my time playing sports. Uh, we're gonna... I'm jealous. I wish that was me. Hey, man. Yeah, dude, hey, join an adult soccer league. It's, right. uh, it's a good time. But I got, I got big enough legs. You got, you get blown up in five minutes, man. Do your cardio. So uh, <laughs> we're going to... Uh, it's not easy having asthma, but regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, the... The banana into the monkey flip grab, and yep. Oh, you better believe Rivers times that out. Practices that every day before they even have breakfast. Come on now, Syrup. I mean, he probably does it in lieu of breakfast, if we're being completely honest. To get that good at it, ooh. F tilts by the ledge. You know the drill, ladies and gentlemen. Diddy's got that range on that move for sure. Able to pick apart recoveries like Nessa's at the end of the day. Regaining stage control is Rivers getting around the PK Thunder. There's something to be said about the uh, the ability to get filled up on. Uh, oh God! On watch frames. out! Oh. Okay. Where? Okay, it's gone. It's gone. I, I forgot how long it was. The timer at the end of the day. That barrel pack. So terrifying whenever it pops out. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, seeing a rogue barrel pack on the uh, on the stage is. There's a level of fear that gets instilled in me that I don't know if I can describe in words. So it's going to be, again, throwing the feet right into the chest of Ness and tacking on a little bit of damage that way. But again, these little short hops, the bane of pretty much every character's existence. And uh, as this set, and certainly winner's fi uh, semifinals were, was an indication of, uh, yeah, Diddy is no exception to that, but they're simply not going to have the range to make it back to the stage and Syrup again on their tournament stock. I mean, is Rivers just thinking about the one time that he got forward tilted by Ness and died? Is he still thinking about that? Because he didn't even do anything with that edge guard besides stand stationary in the same spot and hit the C-stick to the right. That's all he did. Two times. That's all it did to take out this Ness player in that disadvantageous position. Now only one more away from getting the Rivers Gale match that I know so many of you are definitely going to want to see. And Syrup is going to need two more if he wants any chance at getting his run back. Truly heartbreaking loss if he winds up losing this set. Yeah, but again, the nature of tournament play, we've seen this happen before. It's not like Syrup can't take this, but the more that they uh, get hit by these aerials, these interactions that... Syrup could probably microanalyze and figure out how to win, you know, especially if they're taken to the skies on their terms. It's something that Syrup is going to have to uh, try to keep from really breaking down and getting into their own head about. And just uh, sometimes you are not able to win. Sometimes the cards are simply in the favor of the other player. And Dude. if you're someone like Rivers, you just got to make your own luck. What a ledge game that we're seeing here from this Diddy. And again, yeah, it's going to be that back air taking the uh, taking the game. And and then that was a sick death into victory combo there from Rivers, who was going to make their way yet again into Grants. I'm going to say right here, and I wish we had a little bit of a frame by frame to be able to look at this. If Rivers was on his last stock there, would he have lost?
Because uh, I'm not sure he died at like the same time. I think as, that as might Europe be. Did. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna take one more look at that because. Yeah, they uh, they basically got thrown into the stage and deleted more or less. And yeah, it I looked like might have died it. first. Yeah, but again, that's the benefit of uh, of playing the way that Rivers did is every last point counted, and that's uh, that's Rivers earning their spot in Grands against Gao. That uh, that Pit and Sonic combination going to proving to be lethal as ever and. You know, it really could also be a consequence of Syrup not being able to make it back on that recovery and getting called out. That's just, uh, that is the nature of the beast, is it not? Is it not, ladies and gentlemen? <sighs> it's no. no longer the season of the witch, but the number of the beast still out here. And I don't think an angel is going to be the one to cure it at the end of the day. I'm predicting the Sonic might be the one here. But at the end of the day, I think Diddy does very good. Against both of Gao's characters, if I'm being completely real. I think Diddy really has the stuff to stuff out both of them. So 